Hello and welcome to Citroen DS Restoration Part 5. So, in this part, we can see we have the cylinders bolted down. And since the last part, you can see the engine is in a different position. I'll get to that in a minute. But, so, as we can see, number two cylinder is soaking in a certain juice. Now, that juice is, you may think it's penetrating oil. It's not. It is white distilled vinegar. So the distilled white vinegar actually did the job of unsticking the engine. I tried free all. Matter of fact, this still has some free all in it. No, that was filled with free all at one point to like there because the can destroyed itself. I tried pen quick. This stuff usually works great. Didn't work. I tried vast amounts of heat. That didn't really work. I put vinegar in it last night and the vinegar dissolved the rust on the rings. So now the motor actually turns over. I am very surprised that it turns over. So let's just uh, see if we can get it to turn right here. Ugh, I don't know. It does turn. I got to mess with the um, oils and everything. and I got to put some oil in there. I got to blow out the vinegar, clean it, put some uh, brake clean in there, and then shoot it with some penetrating oil as I'm turning it with a hand crank there. Should work really well. I'll get to that when I'm done with it. Let's uh, turn the engine over. I cleaned it out a little bit and put some uh, oil in there just to lubricate it a little bit extra. So um, uh, it turns pretty freely. I'm going to have to clean up a little bit. Wow, it's turning pretty nicely now. It took about 10 minutes of cleaning. And now, let me just get the... The big problem with the engine on this car is the fact that you can't access the um, crankshaft. And you don't want to turn it using the timing uh, gear that, for the camshaft because you'll just wind up wrecking it. So it's got a um, hex socket in the front of the motor. Let me show this to you. It's got a hex socket in the front of the motor right there that takes a, spe a special hand crank. With a hex on the end. Now, I don't have that special hand crank. I'm going to have to get one. But uh, I've just been using... It's not the biggest Allen key I have. I actually have a massive Allen key. But um, it is an Allen key. It's a quite a large one. But I can't believe the motor turns. So I'm going to clean up the bars a bit. And uh, maybe soon we'll be able to put it back together. i got to go order a head gasket set now. going to clean up the head. It's not cracked. So... Um, Gonna clean that up, and then maybe the next part we'll be working on either the starter or something. But once that's done, we'll be able to put the engine back together. And with the engine back together, hopefully we'll be able to start this thing up. Because I'm pretty sure I can get this thing running.